not every doctor or clinical team member works in the same way, and Gen2 allows each provider to select the fields they wish to show in their consult notes. When you open up a new consult window, you'll see a settings cog in the top right-hand corner of the window. This settings cog allows you to edit the consult template. If the pre-formatted fields in the consultation note don't cover what you require, you can add your own custom consult fields in the template. In the Edit Consult window, select the plus text field option at the bottom of this list to create your own. Type in what you'd like your consult field to be titled, and when you're finished, you can select the tick icon to finalise or the cross to cancel. These custom consult fields can also be dragged into the appropriate order for your template. Custom consult fields can be deleted by selecting the trash icon. If any consults have previously used a custom consult field, and that field is deleted from your template, the information will remain on the consultation note for that patient, even after deleting. Deleting the field just prevents it from being used on future consult notes. Consultation fields can also be used via references in your letters and your letter templates, and any custom field you add to the list will also be available to use. To add a field to your letters or letter templates, from within either that letter or the template, click onto the References icon, select Consultations, and choose the field or fields you wish to include. Now we'll take a look at using text shortcuts in consultations. Text shortcuts allow users to create abbreviations for frequently typed information. You can add a text shortcut for words, sentences, or even paragraphs of text, and the shortcuts created are specific to the user who's added them. At present, text shortcuts are only available for consult notes. To add to your list of text shortcuts, when creating a consultation note, Click into any of the fields and you'll see the message that the text shortcuts are now active. Select Configure and you'll be presented with a list of your existing shortcuts. To add a new one, click on the Add Shortcut button. Enter the abbreviation, which is the code you'll type to use the shortcut, and then enter the text you would like to replace your code. When you've finished, select Save. To then use your abbreviation, click into the consult field you wish to populate, and when you type the abbreviation, followed by the spacebar, the text will expand. And some things to note with the abbreviations, they're case sensitive, so if you create an abbreviation in capitals, it'll need to be typed in capital letters in order for it to, to expand on the consult note. Your abbreviation needs to be at least two characters, but there are no limits to the length of all the, of all the abbreviation of the phrase. The abbreviation can only be letters and numbers, no special characters, but you can use any characters within your phrase.